Hello guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this um, transistor tester. Well, I won't say it's a transistor tester because it tests many components like transistors, capacitors, resistors, thyristors, and many more. So, in this video today, I'm going to show you how I made this thing and I will show you how it works. And then I will share the link to all the resources that I used to make this project in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Let's go. So after testing everything that I made from this breadboard and this Arduino Nano, and that worked very well, I decided to make something a little more permanent, but in this case with a controller that is a little bit smaller which is the Arduino Pro Mini since this one runs a an Amiga 328 microcontroller so uh, and for that I decided to make this PCB which is um, designed for this tester so what I'm going to do now is start um, putting all the parts together you can see how it works for this also we got the OLED display for this and a couple of components like the resistors, the push button, the power connector, um, some connector, and this one. So all we're going to do now is to connect everything and make them work together. So guys, after soldering all the parts together, this is what I actually came up with. This is how, this is how it looks like. So we have the board properly soldered on the, comp on the copper side, and then you have everything. On this board right here, you see that I have my OLED display. This one, this board, this, this OLED display used for this project is not the one that was supposed to be used for it. So I just had to modify the code to make it um, compatible with this display. Um, instead of using the Arduino nano that i used before i used the arduino pro mini since the arduino pro mini that i have is the admega uses the admega 328p and the arduino nano that i had uses the arduino admega the admega 168 the arduino nano could not do the job since the memory space was kind of smaller than the admega 238 so in this case then i prefer to use the, the admega the arduino micro or Arduino Pro Mini for this project. It's first of all very small, it's 5 volt compatible, it has all the features that the Arduino Uno has. So it was better to have something small on the board like this one, very portable, very small. So yeah, so this button here, whenever I put the, this, this, um, the, these are the connectors for the components to be tested. So if I want to put, if I want to test a component, I just have to insert it in this terminal that you see here. Or if the component is too big, I just have to put it here and then I screw it down. Okay, this is the, the power connector. So I'm just going to power this thing. I've already, I've already flashed the code into this Arduino Pro Mini. So what I'm going to do here is just to, to power it up so you can see how it powers. You can see right there, it says Arduino, it says transistor tester for Arduino. Okay, so uh, right here I have this. Uh, Arduino, this uh, transistor, I don't know which type of transistor it is, maybe it's NPN, maybe it's PNP, so, and I don't know which are the pin, which are the pin, the pinouts for this component, so what I'm going to do is just to insert it in this little connector here, okay, and then I press on the button to do the testing, you can see it's testing, and it tells me that this is a PNP transistor, and the configurations are 1, 2, 3, where 1 stands for emitter, 2 stands for 
collector and three sands for the base okay so i'm going to remove this transistor again and then put it back the other way you will see that the the pinout order is going to change it's going to reverse from to b c e so let's do the testing so you can see how that's it okay you see it automatically switches so in this case now it says the base is one the you know, collector is two and the emitter is three so it, it it changed i don't know if you can see that well and then the next parameter down here is the is the gain so the beta parameter for the transistor so let's do the testing for another component yet we have another transistor here this one is the um 2N22 bipolar transistor. So I'm just going to feed it here and then do the testing again. So you see that when I press it, it tests and it tells me that it's an NPN transistor. And one is the emitter, two is the base, and three is the collector. And the gain for this transistor is 352. I believe it's slightly less or something around that value since the values. Um, the uh, the website where I got the uh, the schematic and the instructions for this uh, project requested that we use trans these resistors here should be one percent tolerant. Well, I didn't have those. These are five percent tolerance can, uh, resistors. For that reason, we have we're not going to have very accurate numbers here. But I believe that the gain for this transistor is three fifty. It is three fifty. So let's reverse it again, and so you can see how it changes. Let's do that. It changes now to one being the collector, two being the, the base, and three being the emitter. Okay, so we are done with the transistors in this case. Let's use a diode. This is a diode. This one is um, it's a one end four zero zero seven transistor a diode. So in this case now, I'm just going to plug this to this to this board so you can see how it automatically tells you whether the transistor is fine, and then tells tells you which one is the um, the anode and which one is the not the anode which one is the negative and which one is the positive so let's go in we plug it there and then we press on the button to do the test so you see it tells you that the transistor is connected to pin one and pin three and that this the capacity the, cap the, the capacitance of this diode is nine picofarad and the uf which is the forward voltage is 437 millivolts the forward voltage for this transistor is 437 millivolts i don't know if that's true but i need to verify that but at least that's what it's giving so let's take now a capacitor here we have a capacitor that i'm going to plug in here so you can see how it goes so in this case this capacitor is a capacitor of 4.7 microfarad so you 4.7 uf i'm just going to plug it into this and then I run the testing so you can see that it tells me that this capacitor is 50 is 5 uf 5, 5 microfarad so um, 5092 nanofarad which is 5 5 microfarad so there's a little bit of tolerance in here and the ESR value is 4.8 and the capacitor is connected on thing two and three of this connector here so we can directly know if the capacitor is fine and then if it giving us a, a good value for for the, the, the good capacitance so let's remove this now and do another testing for a resistor so this is a resistor right here i'm going to put it this resistor is a 220 um kilo ohms resistor so i'm just going to put it there and see if it's going to give me that value so it says the capacity resistor is not connected so let me let me make sure that it touches okay so it says the resistor is connected on one and three and that the value is 250 and it's 216 kilo ohms which is quite good because the, according to the color code of this of this resistor we have um, red red orange which is 220 kilo ohms and in this case we have it's reading 216 kilo ohms so the value is quite close 
let's take uh, another resistor in this case we are going to plug in the 220 um, ohms resistor into this and see how it goes so when we plug this one now okay so you can see right here how the resistor is connected and the value for this resistor is 220 ohms but the meter tells us that it is 218 ohms and it is connected on pin 1 and pin 3 so i think that this is this is good this is very good this is a very good device and i think that i've been wanting to have something in my workshop for some time now and as from as, as from today this is going to be an indispensable tool in, in for my works so i'm just going to keep this one in my toolbox for my next project okay this is uh, what I wanted to show you guys for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to post the link to all the resources that I used to make this project in the description box below. So if you like it, well, give me a thumbs up. That's all I'm asking. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.